हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग लिमिट्स एंड कॉन्टीन्यूटी लिमिट्स एंड कॉन्टीन्यूटी या सी फॉर द फंक्शन टू बी कंटिन्यूस इट हैज टू सेटिस्फाई द थ्री कंडीशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द वैल्यू ऑफ फंक्शन शुड बी डिफाइंड ओके तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इज द फंक्शन मस्ट बी डिफाइंड एट ए ए इज एनी पॉइंट विच इज इन द डोमेन ऑफ दैट फंक्शन सो फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज द फंक्शन मस्ट बी डिफाइंड एट ए ए इज एनी पॉइंट ऑन इन द डोमेन ऑफ द फंक्शन नाउ एफ ए मस्ट बी डिफाइंड एंड ए इज द पार्ट of the domain of f so that that means a should lie in the domain of that function only and for the domain yeah domain of the function and the point 2 is that is the limit must exist that is the limit extends to a fx must exist means it should Have a limit. That means the left-hand limit should be equal to the right-hand limit. That's how we actually define limit. So limit extends to a minus a minus means when we approach a from the left-hand side, f x should be equal to limit extends to a plus when we approach a towards the right-hand side, f x this should be equal. So then we say that the limit exists. Point three. Point three is that these two terms, like these two points one and two, should be equal. That means the value of function, you can see one and two, the value of function f a, this value of function f a should be equals to the limit of that function. So f a equals limit of x tends to a f x, x tends to a f x. Now, if it satisfy all three. all three points we say that the function is continuous at a and if it does not satisfy then we say that the function is discontinuous at point a and students if you like the video please do like share and also subscribe and press that notification bell icon to watch all my latest videos thank you now one point that i must like to add is that a function is c a function is continuous in its domain so writing function a function is continuous in its domain now if you consider a function fx equals 1 by x so see this function is not continuous so let's just make a rough diagram of that can taking the y axis and the x axis this is the x axis y axis so if we draw the graph it will be something like this you can see this will be the graph so we can clearly see that this is not continuous at all point means this is this continuous at x equal to 0 so this function is not continuous this function is actually not continuous but this function is continuous in its domain so what's its domain and then but this is continuous this function is continuous in its domain so how do we define the domain of this so domain of this function domain domain is defined as x belongs to all real number and x is not equal to 0 so as you can see this function is continuous in its domain only so friends you can also follow me on the instagram my instagram id as you can see on the screen now let's go to the question it is given that the function fx equals to uh this is x square minus a square upon x minus a 
x where x when x is not equals to a this is a piecewise function and also two way when x equals a now what you have to do is that you have to find whether find whether this function is continuous at x equals to a so you have to check the continuity of this function at x equals to a at x equals a now first of all finding the value of the function so this solution finding the value of the function is fa we know that when x equals to a this is 2a so value of function fa at point a you can see this is equals to 2a so this is the value of function fa now going for the limits now limit x tends to a minus means the left hand limit as you know where we approach is the a from the left hand side limit x tends to a minus and we know that when this is not equals to a so we will apply this formula which is x square minus a square which is given function x square minus a square upon x minus a now to solve this limit we can factorize it this is equal to limit x tends to a minus x tends to a minus so x square minus a square you can write as x plus a into x minus a or x minus a into x plus a upon x minus a so x minus a gets cancelled so you are left with x plus a now applying the limit now we can apply the limit taking x as a so a plus a that equals 2a so our left hand limit is 2a now going for the right hand limit limit x tends to a plus again when this is not equals to a we'll use this formula only x square minus a square upon x minus a so using this x square minus a square upon x minus a so this equals Again, factorizing it, limit x tends to a plus. This will be again, you can write x square minus a square as x minus a, x plus a upon x minus a. Cancelling out the x minus a terms. See, we are cancelling out the x minus a term. So this is, again, applying the limit, which is a plus a, that equals 2a. So limit, the value of the limit is actually 2a. And we can also see that the value of function is also 2a. So hence the value of function is equals to so 1 equals to, hence value of function, fa is equals to limit, x tends to a, fx. So hence we can say that the mm -hmm. function is continuous at x equals to a. So the function is continuous at x equals a. Now the next question, mm, the next question is find the value of k, find the value of k the function which is given is fx this is equals mm, x square minus 2 when x is less than equals minus 2 and 3kx when x is greater than minus 2 so it is given that this function is continuous at x equals to minus 2 what is given is that this function is continuous at x equals minus 2 yeah so our first step is to find the value of the function. So find the <coughs> solution. So find the value of function at x equals minus 2. x equals at point. The point which is given is x equals to minus 2. So f of minus 2 we know that when this is. We will take this the first function. Where it is less than or equal to. So this will be x square minus 2. Actually, we write x as minus 2 whole square minus 2. This is 4 minus 2. That equals 2. So, value of function at this point is 2. Now, the limit. Now, we know that we have to take the point 3kx. So, which is x is greater than minus 2. So, we will take the right hand limit. So, limit 
because it is continuous so that means limit also exists so we are taking the right hand limit extends to minus 2 plus applying the limit of the function which is 3kx we know that when this is greater than minus 2 which is 3kx 3kx now uh, limit extends to minus 2 plus now uh, directly applying the value of k or means applying the limit 3k into minus 2 and as this is continuous at x equals to minus 2 that means this is equals to the value of function which is 2 over here so 3 into minus 2 is minus 6k equals 2 so now what is k k equals uh, minus 2 by 6 which is actually minus 1 by 3 so that's the answer